Hey everyone, welcome back to Help Me DIY. Today I'm gonna to be changing these rotors on my wife's BMW X4. Now, uh, I did the brake pads. There's a separate video for the brake pads, so go check out this link up here. I'll put it in the description as well. And I'll put all the parts that I'm using today in the description too. So uh, after you've gotten this far to do the brake pads, uh, you can do the rotors. You don't always have to do the rotors. People always say that they suggest doing them both at the same time. But let me show you why I am doing these. So you can see right up here that there is a lip. It's really hard. So what that, uh, what that means is the brake pad has been riding around the surface of this rotor and wearing away the material on the rotor as well as the material on the brake pad. And that has caused this lip. So if you change your brake pads and you don't have a lip here and everything is still pretty smooth, you don't have to change the rotors. Um, the other option is you could t I could take this rotor in and have it resurfaced, what they call it. So essentially, they take a really sharp uh, piece of tooling and spin your rotor and shave this off and shave everything back down to flat. And as long as you have enough material thickness of your rotor, you can do that. But today we are just replacing it, so I just want to show you how to do that. It is a super simple process. So uh, if you followed along the other video and you're at this stage here, all we have to do is remove this bracket that was holding our caliper and brake pads on. We have to remove one little screw that holds this on and you take the rotor off. That is all there is to it. So let me show you on the back here. There are two bolts holding this bracket on. Uh, you can see them both right here and they are both 16 millimeter. Now they're going to be on there pretty tight, so I have one of these guys that can extend to allow you to apply more torque on there in the little 16 millimeter socket. Okay, so I have the wrench on both bolt on bolt number one. So yeah, you're gonna want a long bar here or your life is going to not be nearly as fun. All right, this is what that bolt looks like. Now just remove the second one. All right, bolt number two is out. Now as soon as both are out, this is gonna be loose. You can just take it right off and you have access to your rudder. All right, this bolt is a six millimeter hex, so it looks like this. I'm gonna give you a really big tip here. So you want to ideally spray some like PB blaster, some penetrating oil in there so it can help loosen this up. Uh, it is really easy to strip this bolt, and if you do, this can be a giant pain for you to get this rotor off. There is lots of heat in this all of the time from braking, driving, water, terrible conditions. So in order to help break that seal, what I like to do is take a hammer, hold this in here and give it several good whacks. All right, don't hit your finger. So now you again want to make sure that this is pressed all the way in so you're not stripping it. And uh, ideally, you would have your brake on so that this isn't going to rotate on you. But since we don't have any more brakes on here, we are going to hold it with our hand. I'm going to rotate it over here so that I can push down. And that is the loosening effect. So just give it a couple taps. And if you broke the seal correctly, it's going to come right off. All right. So... Here is our little screw. This one is not too rusty, so it wasn't too bad. Sometimes these will be super corroded and rusty. Uh, so you can see that our center here is very corroded. Um, so that's why we have our dead blow hammer. So I'm just going to uh, give this a couple whacks from behind. This side over here has a heat shield, so I can't really whack on it very well. This side over here is a little more clear. So I'm gonna hit it over there and uh, be prepared for this thing to come off. It's very heavy. Don't drop it on your finger, your feet, anything like that. Like 
I said, be more careful than me. All right, so now that that is off, you can see that this is really nasty, so I just take a wire brush and uh, clean that area up. All right, these are the Zimmerman rotors that I'm going to be putting on the vehicle. Nice, new, shiny, and heavy. And they specifically say in their instructions not to put any kind of lubricant or paste or anything on the hub, just to apply it dry and to attach it with the one nut. So we are going to heed their instructions. Just put it on and line it up. I'm gonna try not to touch this uh, disc too much with my greasy hands. I already did a little bit there. Uh, just get this back on. All right, tighten that back down. And there you go, you have a rotor. So now I'm just going to uh, put the bracket back on and continue from the brake pad. So again, if you need to see that brake pad video, check out the link. Uh, I guess it's in the description now. All right, guys, here it is with the bracket back on. Now, what I'm reading is that these bolts uh, in the back that hold this bracket on are torqued to yield and should be replaced every time with new bolts. You should torque them down to 30 Newton meters and then you turn it and another 90 degrees after they are at 30 Newton meters. So if you're going to reuse them in a pinch and you don't have a choice, uh, I think what some people are doing is like around 80 Newton meters or 80 foot pounds, I think I read. So um, they are tight, but they should be replaced each time. Uh, and these front ones, as I noted in my uh, break video for the pad change is 22 foot pounds all right just took it out for a little spin and bedded the brakes in and this is now what our rotor looks like nice and shiny uh, i can definitely smell them burning and uh, i did get a high brake load warning light that came on that said to drive moderately while i was doing it so i'd never seen that before thought that was pretty interesting but uh yep brakes are here and operational that's it guys if you have any other tips or suggestions for other people watching this video please comment on the video and everybody else uh, watching the video now go read the comments and see if there's anything additional that might be helpful for you uh, and again please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next video